What up guys, it is filming time. Today in the kitchen, we are whipping up a Mediterranean inspired lunchbox. And you wanna know what this means right there behind me? Stay tuned and figure it out. Let's go. And yo, what up man? What's up, what's up? Are y'all ready to cook? So ready. I am ready to cook. This is a meal prep video. So we got everything out. We're gonna be moving. The key to meal prep is to never stop moving, all right? So if you're not cooking, you're cleaning. If you're not cleaning, you're cooking, all right? That is the best way to get in and out of the kitchen. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, grab your choice of carbs. I'm gonna be using some quinoa. Add it over here to my Instapot. Pop the top, get this going. 20 minutes, have that going in the background or you can set another pot of water to boil and do it that way, but that's the fastest way to go ahead and do it. Now, let's prep the veggies. Grab the zucchini, chop off the top, bottom, boom, and slice it right down the middle. And just chop this up. Grab a baking tray, line it with some parchment paper. On one end, you're gonna add your bell pepper. Near the end, we're gonna add our freshly chopped zucchini. If you're not a fan of zucchini, you can also use asparagus. This is Mediterranean, so it's rich in healthy fats, rich in olive oil. We're gonna do a light drizzle, some olive oil, boom. Add in a sprinkle of salt, some pepper. I could just do a quick mix myself. Great. And into the oven it goes for 25 minutes at 420. All right, let's keep moving. All right, for our protein today, I'm gonna be using some chicken thighs because they're so delicious. We are going to sprinkle in some of the Fit Cook seasoning. This is the everyday blend. If you do not have this, then you could just use a combination of garlic and onion powder. And we're also gonna use the Fit Cook land seasoning. If you don't have this one, you can use your own choice of dried herbs. Get your hands dirty. And for a lower fat option, lower calorie option, you can also just use some chicken breast. Beautiful. Fire up a nonstick skillet, put it on a super high heat. And once it gets nice and hot, spray it with a little bit of oil. Boom, add in the chicken. So let this rest and sear. I'm gonna cook this for about six minutes on each side. Hey Jesse. What's up? What do you call France without the Mediterranean? I don't know what. <laughs> Can't guess? No. Frame. What? I knew you were gonna get it. Frame. So, frame. <laughs> because the Mediterranean is what? It's a C! <laughs> That's such a reach. Come on, that was, a, that was a good joke, man. Mediterranean, you get it? Cause it's a C. Okay. And it's a C, so you take that out. A plus for creativity. You'll get it later. Yeah. It's okay. Let's flip it over. Yeah. And again, we want nice color. And just give this one more flip. Just to make sure it's all the way cooked through. And then set this aside in a bowl. Oh my God. Look how beautiful this looks. Now I know that some of y'all probably like, Kev, what about us plant-based warriors? I got y'all. We're going to fry up some chickpeas. Add in a little bit of the everyday seasoning blend. Boom. Add in some of the land seasoning. And voila. We cook it. Everybody eats in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. That's right. Who eats, Jesse? Everybody. Everybody eats. Fry these up for about a good two or three minutes. Add them to a bowl. Let's move on. All right, grab our freshly roasted bell pepper. Wait for it to cool down just a little bit so you can actually handle it. We are going to take off the skin. Beautiful. You could do several of these. Take out the majority of those seeds. But we're gonna leave the liquid, we need the liquid in there. Add it to our high-powered blender. Also gonna add in 
a garlic clove, some almond butter, and if you don't have almond butter, you can also just use some raw almonds and a little bit of olive oil. Sea salt, pepper, fresh lemon. Pop the top. And as it blends up, you can add in a little bit of olive oil. And if it needs some more liquid, just squeeze in some more lemon or add some water. Here's our beautiful sauce. Now, if you want yours to be a little bit thicker, no worries. All you have to do is just add in a few more tablespoons of almond butter, or you can also add in some raw almonds. Just be sure that you account for the macros if you um, want to add in some more almond butter or some more almonds, because those are calorie dense ingredients. And the best thing about this sauce is that it's great for our meal prep, but you can also use it as a dipping sauce too. All right, now let's bring everything together. Add in some of our cooked quinoa. Fluff it up with a fork. Add in one of our chicken thighs, roasted zucchini. If you want some Kalamata olives. And add in a little container for our sauce. We're doing a little bit of cheese, a little bit of feta. Add in our delicious red pepper sauce. Oh my gosh. Don't be stingy with that sauce. Don't be stingy with it. Squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. And now we have our red pepper Mediterranean lunchbox. And don't forget about the plant-based warriors in your family. Or even in your life for Meatless Monday. There you go. Jesse, let's go ahead and taste this for the internet. Let's add some sauce on top. A dollop here. Oh man. This is for you. I'm doing this for you. That's how much I care. I gotta let them know. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> you can stay for lunch. <laughs> you can stay for lunch. <laughs> Love it. Can mm -hmm. you fox with it? Mmm. I fox with this red pepper sauce. <laughs> Please go ahead. Here we go. It's a good bite you made me. That is. Thank you. It's very generous. That's what love looks like. Oh man. It's good, nice and creamy. Mm. Do you taste the red pepper? Mm-hmm. I love the way the chicken thighs taste mm -hmm. with a little bit of hit the peanut in mm -hmm. there and everything. Super satisfying. I know that y'all are going to love this prep. It's very easy and it's very easy to customize as well. So if you're not a fan of chicken thighs, you can add in some chicken breast. You can add in some um, chickpeas. You can add in some shrimp. Those would be awesome substitutions, even some mushrooms. You could do that as well, but just keep it calorie conscious. And if you don't want the cheese, take the cheese out, no worries. Um, and the best thing about this prep is you can also eat this meal completely cold, which I love. That's a huge plus for meal prep. That way you don't have to worry about trying to heat something up if you have to go to work. Perfect meal prep for that. So, all right guys, if you like videos like this and I invite you to smash that like button below, let us know that you like the content. And also, if you're new to the channel, what up? And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you thinking? Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell, ding, 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 so that way you can be notified every time we post hot new content here in the Fit Men Cook Kitchen. All right guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, we're gonna keep it healthy <laughs> that was brand new. <laughs> Let me dance real quick. That was brand new. I was feeling it. I was feeling the bite. I was feeling a bite of the red pepper sauce, feeling myself. <laughs> Until next time, guys, we're going to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Boom. Peace.